G'day ladies and gentlemen, this is a Space Pirates and Zombies 2 playthrough, and I am your host, Vastima. Today we're back with MinMax Games Space Pirates and Zombies 2. It's an RPG slash strategy slash resource management slash shipbuilder with space combat and zombies. So let's get to it. Last time around, we took over another territory, Fat Finger, and we did a bit of recruiting so that we had somebody to run the territory. Uh, this time, we've got to do a little bit of housekeeping. First up, I'm yet again damaged, so I'm going to have to... How damaged am I? Holy fuckamoly, I am very damaged. So first things first, we're going to run down to my personal starbase. We're going to repair my ship and actually we'll just see if there is ooh, a little bit to pick up. See if there's anything to drop off. Okay, plenty of stuff to drop off. Since I am not sure just this second what I was up to, um, I should have probably taken the time to have a more in-depth look of what I was doing, but... I did have a look at one thing, and that is that none of the factions can produce large parts. And when we hit level 20, you know, just thinking ahead, when we hit level 20, nobody is going to be able to produce large parts. That's in part because of the spread of the zombies and in part because I enabled dead space, which means there just isn't a lot of contiguous territories. Um, yeah, so Sovereignty of Science, even they can't, which means come level 20, I'm going to find myself needing a lot of scrap in order to buy custom parts, a lot of scrap, which I don't have, um, but that's neither here nor there, because right this moment, what I want to do is now that I'm repaired, quickly run up, try and grab both of these cores. And then, looks like I have a choice. I can either let this other core go to this uh, pirate or... Holy shit, 18 strike craft. Ugh. Stuff it. Stuff it, stuff it. Okay, but before I take out this, uh, or try and take out this bandit, who knows how many other bandits are going to come. Um, uh, actually, no, stuff it. It's not worth it for just one core, because what we really want to do, or what I really want to do in this case, is come over and see if I can take on a uh, really low-level zombie star base over here on... That's what I meant to say. Sorry if I'm a bit husky. I woke up this morning and my voice was rather rough. Uh, of course, it might have the benefit of uh, when I get really, really excited, it won't go so high pitch. It might, in fact, cut out entirely and you'll be blessed with a silent video for the rest of the episode. But um, for now, we're going to head over to this zombie starbase. We're going to forget about that core, forget about the pirates. They can raid my transports and and what have you all they like i might just um, put my speed down to medium though so i'm not burning all of my fuel and the reason i've chosen this star base is not only because it is a uh, low threat level of 24 but because there isn't a whole stack of zombies swarming around it I would prefer, if at all possible, just to have a fight, me versus the Starbase, we'll see. This one would have been a nice target as well, but there's a whole bunch of zombies around it. Uh, so let's, you know, let's have a stab at it. Three strike craft, threat 24. This should be the equivalent, I'm hoping, of... Oh, there's a little double-click verification now. Uh, this should be the equivalent of... Uh, a level one pirate base, I think. Of course, being that it's zombie territory, there will be infected asteroids, and I've crashed straight into an advert. Yep. Oh shit! There go my shields. Let's 
try and uh, put some distance between myself and all the strike craft that are coming in. Okay. I just remembered I'm using a missile ship. I really need to lock on and shit. Okay. So, that's uh, okay. Well, I really fucked that up right at the start, as you saw, by A running into that big ad b not shielding my ship and c not locking on to enemy god take him out for fuck's sake god damn it oh and yet again there goes my engine not that it matters we are done that was a really piss poor showing right at the start of the episode and right at the start of the week let us do better next time. And here we are again. This time we'll try not to run into anything. And we will try and... Let's focus our missiles on this guy. If it will let me lock onto him. There we go. Okay, well we got gravity missile, that was not good to... Holy shit! What hit me? Something hit me and just took out my shields completely and I have no idea what it was. And before you ask, yes, I was watching, there's just, you know, a lot of garbage coming in. Oh god! Pulsar, that's not good. That's not good. That's really not good. Damn, no shields and a pulsar... Oh, he got me. Oh, he got me. They're all getting me. Oh, damn. I forgot to switch targets. Was that my... Yeah, that was my engine again. Okay. Um, yeah. Strike craft again. I'm having a problem with them. I really need to... Uh, see, that's the problem. I need to change my ordnance on my ship to concentrate on strike craft, but... I am a little bit worried that once I do that, I'm not going to have enough main power. Doesn't matter. Uh, I'm going to have to uh, change my ship design over to a uh, strike craft killer now. I would have preferred to leave it a little bit later, but there's nothing for it. Well, that was a um, rather abortive attack there. Um, and of course, I am left with trying to track down... Um, I don't know what to do, ladies and gentlemen. I'm thinking I'm going to... Okay, so we've got... We've got lots of cloud torpedoes. That's great, but it's no... Um, there's no point having cloud torpedoes <laughs> if we can't get through to the target that we want to use the cloud torpedoes on and we still have to track down another flat cannon for the right side what have we got at the front is it still the uh, minigun yes it is okay uh -huh. and we also want more defender fighters for the front of the craft there are so many things we need in this design what I might do is I might have a look around. I'll do that off camera so you're not bored to tears. And I'll see what I can scrounge up. Okay, so I haven't exactly acquired the sort of parts I would like if this was a perfect world, but it's not a perfect world. What I do have, however, is another Sovereignty of Science flat cannon. And another particle hose in fact the only particle hose i could find was a one star part so i've got some extra shielding as well um as you can see i reformed my ship in preparation to getting a medium nose and of course i couldn't find the medium nose i wanted so i may as well go and reform it once again Wait, oops, that's what I wanted to do. And, hmm, actually that is a good point. Do I want to... No, I will leave them at the back. Well, not leave them at the back, put them at the back where they were before. Damn, I keep doing that. There we go. I could... Uh, <laughs> 
could have and should have done this off camera apologies ladies and gentlemen there we go now having done that what we're going to do is have one last attempt at uh, that zombie starbase this time around we will take our strike craft into the battle so hopefully that will give the enemy enough targets that we might be able to get something accomplished uh it was this one over here yes that is oh wait a sec no i better not do that one <laughs> we'll go back up here we'll do that uh, i had to sell off a bit of res in order to afford the upgrades but that was to be expected um i had a look around to see if there was any captains i could recruit as well but uh, unfortunately because i uh, have already recruited so many and haven't acquired any new territories i uh, can't recruit even the ones that are relation 20 and let's forget about that for the moment because what we want to do let's just do a quick save what we want to do is attack this place okay so still threat 24 and still three strike craft of course it's not the strike craft organic to uh the base itself it's all those infected asteroids that are going to be pumping them out um, of course those infected asteroids go dark the moment that you destroy all ships or star bases in the vicinity so maybe i should try and go for an early knockout on star base but um, okay what we'll do since i've quick saved we will do exactly that we'll just see if we can do it uh, i have my doubts because i've taken off one of my cloud torpedoes but what we'll do is we will rush towards the star base and we'll just put powder shields until we get close to the starbase. And then... Ooh! Ooh! That was an ion bomb! Okay, okay. No, I don't think we're going to pull it off. Nearly though, nearly. There you go, some more cloud torpedoes. And can it get in there? Oh damn, it didn't stop that spore. Okay, some more cloud torpedoes going out. Uh, only one got through the defense cord, which of course isn't going to be enough damage, and it doesn't matter anyway. I've been shot to pieces. I'm just not putting out enough damage to uh, go for a quick knockout, but that's all right. My survivability definitely increased with uh, all my strike craft on the board, so... This time, we will try and do it properly. Okay, let's turn around. And put some distance between us and them. Damn, I really wish um, I'd been able to get some sniper cannons, but no such luck. What do we got coming at us? Okay, that's, that's alright, that's alright. Okay, ooh, damn. Okay, we want to get our... Eye on SRMs on this guy. God, he's fast for a medium. Jesus. Well, if I fail this this time, it will be back to fighting pirates because even though they have so many uh, strike craft, their strike craft are still definitely weaker than the zombie strike craft. God damn. God damn. Okay, oh, we still haven't got this guy. Bloody hell. Okay, stuff it. Let's switch targets. That other guy's just running rings around us. We've wasted so much time trying to kill him. How about this guy? Is this guy slow or is he just... Nah, he's fast. Ooh, God, we can't even get this... Oh, no, his shields are finally down. Wow, excellent. He 
He's a crafty little son of a bitch. He is staying out of... Oh, no. My ship is gone. Blown out from under me yet again. Okay, until I have the firepower to take out uh, enemy zombie strike craft, I can't even fight in zombie territory. Damn. The lowest, well, pretty much the lowest level zombie star base you're going to encounter, and I can't even beat that. Back to fighting pirates then. Bloody hell. Oh, Jesus, they're mobbing up on me over here. Uh, okay, what I might do is I might go back to my personal star base, drop off some stuff I'm carrying. I'm just trying to make up my mind. Hmm... With, if I put that other cloud torpedo back on, I'm just wondering if I can knock out a level three. I doubt it. I strongly doubt it. But if I can knock out some of these level three pirate hives, not only will I get the insane amount of uh, resources that you get from them. Okay, this guy is only up to 2,397. How about you? Uh, you're not even maxed out yet. You, oh, that's not too bad, but... I don't really need to get rid of you straight away. Okay. First of all, what we'll do is... Okay, all I'm holding right now is the uh, cloud torpedo. So, what do we got in stockpile? Okay, that's more than I was expecting. I figured that all of my transports would have been getting destroyed and nothing would be getting through, but some things have been getting through. What do we got in stockpile? Oh, we do have a pulsar in there. Hmm. I'm just trying to decide. Do I leave one particle hose on? Or do I switch this out entirely and just rely on my strike craft to do the job? And the cloud torpedoes. Not that they're great against strike craft, but they're better than nothing. Um. Ooh. Yeah, let's do it. Let's try it. We'll take off our particle hoses and we will put on the pulsar and the extra cloud torpedo. And then we'll dump these off into the stockpile or the personal stash, I should say. There we go. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so what's going on up here? Fair enough. Looks like one of my transports has been taken out. Ooh. Okay. Let's quickly go up and grab all these goons while it is maxed out. We can get 65. And then we'll just wait for this bandit enforcer to... Looks like he's dropping off some treasure. And... Have you dropped it off? Yep, he's heading away. Wow. This is probably the dumbest thing I've done in a while, but let's try anyway. Okay, here we go. Okay. Uh-oh. These strike craft are mediums. That, ah, oh, damn. And we've got gravity torpedoes coming in as well. Okay, let's see how we go. Oh, okay, well, his shields are down, that's good. Ooh, yeah, they're definitely much weaker than the zombie guys. Okay. Okay, can we do this? Can we? Ooh, that's just a gravity beam. That's alright. It's not doing us any damage, it's just slowing us down. And we can get this done. We can get this done. Okay, let's reload while there's nobody near me and we've just got one missile coming in. Okay, looks like we're going to uh, lose a strike craft there, but that's all right. That's rather cavalier about the lives of um, my pilots. That's all right. Oh, torpedo coming in. Interesting. Ooh, okay, let's turn it around. Well, that was a nice sharp turn, wasn't it? Okay. Oh, here we go. There's another medium over here. 
And yeah, hit him with a pulser, hit him with a pulser, hit him with a pulser. Oh, two torpedoes coming in. And he's done. Excellent. One more medium over there. At least I hope it's a medium. It'd suck if that was a large, but I'm fairly sure. Actually, there's just so much shit going on. And one thing I am not good at is um, my combat recognition of all the different uh, strike craft. Like, I know the ones that uh, were from, like the right hooks and everything that were um, from um, Spaz 1, but yeah, some of the other ones are like. What are you? Okay, come on. There we go. Lock on. Oh yeah, nice and piss weak these guys. Okay. Excellent. Of course, none of this will mean anything if I can't uh, get through the, the uh, base's defences. Which is, you know, quite a possibility, um, since it's likely to have very strong shields, and there's no guarantee I will be able to get through them. Wow. Look at all those torpedoes going in. And my pulsar. Okay, let's turn it around. Mm-hmm. Wait. Three strike craft on the board, 17 in the hangars. I haven't lost a strike craft yet. Well, I shouldn't have said anything because I'm going to jinx them, but even so. Okay, well, there goes the uh, enemy mothership. It's down. Let's take out this um, guy over here. Ooh, there goes one of my strike craft. Wow, he got hit hard. Okay, let's. Ooh, double torpedo coming in. It's so, alright, and he got within range of my pulsar, which was silly. Wow. Big boom. But big bada boom. Okay. There we go. Let's turn it around. And. Oh, yeah. What a time to run out of capacitor juice. Oh, my God. Did you see how many cloud torpedoes we going in on him and I think um, the first one took him out okay what I might do is I might switch these off auto deploy for the moment can't believe we've only lost one okay of course like I said it means nothing if I can't destroy the enemy pirate base good thing is I do have a pulse and a particle hose so, sorry I do have a pulsar um, not a particle hose uh, so if there are uh, crates over there, like if there's an external cache, I will be able to open those crates up. Come on, lock on, lock on, lock, there we go. Ooh, what do you, no, oh, there we go. All good. And... Oh yeah, we're mopping these guys up, and hopefully this will be the last of the strike craft. Okay, um, I will get back to you when we are about 1,500 units away. And here we are, coming up on 1,500, and once again, I have forgotten to reload my capacitor, because I am a moron. Okay, here is the main event. Once we get to 750, I'm guessing he's going to have a fuck ton of zappers. They usually do. Uh, in which case, I am not... Holy fuck. Yes, I believe they are all zappers. Or defenders. Okay, he's got some torpedoes as well. Let's turn around. Yep, his zappers are just going to tear the ever-loving shit out of my cloud torpedoes unless I get within 600 and let his zappers come towards me uh-huh 
Actually, let's turn the other way because I've got a minigun at the front and I've got the pulser at the front. There we go. Let it all go in. Hopefully we can get something through the zappers. Ooh, okay, so the pulse is getting through, obviously, but um, I think we got a few cloud torpedoes through in that salvo. Not bad, not bad. And, of course, we have our three strike craft flying around. Let's make ourselves a more enticing target. We'll move just a little bit closer. Come on, guys. Come over here. There we go. Let me defend the drones. Do the job. And really... If we can just sit back, take out the torpedoes as they come to us. And... Okay. Right, let's just see how much he regenerates while my capacitor's coming back. Good thing is, because we've got a pulse or a direct fire weapon that's um, fairly fast compared to the torpedoes, I'm back on him already. And, of course, he can't regenerate if I'm continually hitting him. Okay, so we're staving off the... Uh, staving off the drones. I've lost one of my strike craft. Looks like I've lost the ranger. Yep. Okay, his shields are nearly down. Can we do it, though? As I've mentioned before, that's, you know, getting down... That last little bit that I always seem to have a lot of trouble with. I don't know why. Maybe he's doing power to shields or something. I don't know. Oh, and I ran out of cap juice. Not good, not good, not good. Oh, come on. Two torpedoes coming in and you stopped neither of them. You useless bricks. What am I paying my flat gunners for? Oh, they got that one from long range. Joy. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. Nearly lost his shields there. Just got to ensure all my cloud torpedoes get through. Every last one of them. So, move a bit closer. I wonder what he's got. Has he got zappers or defender fire? I think he's actually... The one's coming to me. Ah, there we go. So, oh, oh, my shields are offline, and yes, he does have defender drones. Um, hmm. Yeah, let's just do that. Having no shields when he's got uh, defender drones coming in on me is not good. Oh, and now I've lost my capacitor. Okay. Okay, come on. Come on. Stop everything so his shields can come back up. And, oh, his shields are down. His shields are down. His shields are down. Oh, if we can just get a few cloud torpedoes through now. Did I get one through then? I think I might have. I think I might have. Okay, so my shields are back up. All we gotta do is keep his shields down and just slowly whittle him away. Come on, just get a few hits in. A few solid hits. Wow, this will be amazing if I can uh, start taking out a few of these level 3 pirate bases. Getting rid of the ones in my territory means I won't have as many zombie raiders hit my transports, which would be fantastic. Uh, and torpedo coming in. Yes, they stopped it. Awesome. Um, and of course, if I can hit the uh, the pirate bases that are chockers full of scrap, that will go a long way to refilling my war chest. My god, that torpedo got through. Son of a bitch. But we're doing well. We are doing really well. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Keep on knocking him down. We can do it. Any more? No. Excellent. 
Uh huh. Okay, that torpedo coming in. We always manage to stop them when I've got um, capacitor. Oh, here comes one. Here comes one. Are we going to stop it? Yes, we stopped it. Oh my god. Wonders never cease. Excellent. There we go. Capacitors back up. Shields are down, but all good. All good. Oh, we've nearly got him. We've nearly got him. Shields are nearly back up. Oh, we stopped the torpedo short anyway. Almost didn't stop that other one. Okay, and, and, here we go, here we go, here we go. Two torpedoes coming in, and we stopped them both. Excellent. Which means we can sit back and enjoy. And enjoy. Yes, that, that. The money shot, ladies and gentlemen. And all the crates burst. Excellent. Means I don't have to run around destroying any... We can pick up the rest of this scrap. We can pick up all this lovely little res. Might not be the biggest cash, but any res is great and any scrap is great. And uh, let's pick up the goons. Damn, that is a lot of goons. And I don't think I have missed anything. No. Okay, back to the star map we go. Wow. And of course, upper level. Uh, boost capacity. Capacitor, no. Health. Boost capacity is. That is fantastic. Well on our way to level 18 as well. And you, my little friend, are going down to the ether. Where is the ether? A long way away. No way, way. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, you're going all the way down here somewhere. Where the hell are you going? Where is the ether? What is this? Here, he's going down to the zombies' capital territory. <laughs> have fun down there. <laughs> uh, okay, we have plenty of goons. We have, uh, uh, yeah, okay. We have some scrap. Nowhere near what we'll need. Of course, I'm going to have to decide next episode whether we start another base or if we hold on to that for level 20. I think I may have to establish another base. But that is neither here nor there. That is a decision for next episode. Instead, let's wrap up this episode by having a look at the galactic map. And... I don't know why I said galactic instead of galaxy map. Just just let it slide. Just, you know, let it slide. Humor the insane man. Okay, so... Uh, hasn't been any changes that I can detect. Uh, actually, I think the zombies have taken that territory. Fairly sure we finished last episode with... Uh, that being an unoccupied territory because of the war between the Void Militia... And the Miners Conglomerate. Congratulations, you morons. Wow. Wow, look at all those zombie territories. Humanity is not doing well, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, well, I am going to have to call it there for today. And uh, going to have to work on our long-term strategy as well as our short-term strategy, I think, going forward. And that's it for this episode. Give me your thoughts down below and like and subscribe as you will. Until next time, take care of yourselves and most importantly, have a good one!